The grail of the day. Mate, someone is going to be buzzing on their way there with this one. I think we've done pretty well with that, to be honest. So, let me just do this. One is sold for like £100. Potentially, you could sell that for a lot more. So, we'll see. Okay, so we just landed in Birmingham. Let's just see what we can find. You know, at one point, I never saw this ever. And I've seen it everywhere now, pretty green. I'm still not going to pick it up. I've got loads of t-shirts at home and I'm still not being able to sell them. I think the last one I sold was like £12. And here's one I haven't seen before ever. This is Carolina Herrera. Now, it just looks like a basic pocket tee. You know, I love a good pocket. There's a few solds on here. And it seems to be more American than English. But in America, some of the t-shirts go for like £40 for some reason. But over here, maybe like, some seen some go for like 15 between 15 and 20 so. I think it's women's. We'll see, it's three pound. We'll give it a go, different. Oh, and we've got another one here. This is Hugo Boss. I don't think it'll do amazingly well, but I have sold ones for this like 15, between 15 and 17, something like that. So Hugo Boss and a bit of Carol, might as well. Oh, that's pretty nice, not a nice floral. This is Paul Smith London. It's a fiver and it's a 17 and a half. I've started to only gravitate towards 16 and a half and above now because I feel like the smaller ones don't go as well. But I think that could be pretty good. I love that pattern there, all embroidered and that. Don't know if it makes a massive difference, but underneath right here, where the buttons are, you've got these make love not war ones. I don't know if it makes a difference. I remember when I was, um, when I first started, you could sell these for a bit more. I'm not sure if it's the same thing though, but that's pretty good. The pop tingles. This looks like it'll go hard, you know. I'm not sure if it's vintage or anything, but it's Leacock Sportive or Leco Sportive. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Just a basic spell out. Oh, basic logo jumper. Could go for like 20 something pound. That's sick. I never really get my deep pop out, but when I do, I think this will do quite nicely. Bit of a small Kevin a carrot. I love them. Excuse me. Are you selling that, Kevin? We will be. How much are you going to sell it for? Do you know? Five pounds. Fiver? Uh, no, it was me thinking size don't matter. Well, <laughs> got an unlikely guest with us. I'm pretty sure this is the greatest show I'm one, isn't it? What a beast. Okay, stay in the back here. There you go, lad. These can go for about 40 pound. Don't think I'm gonna need anything special to send it. Just uh, a hope and a prayer, really, and a bit of shrink wrap, innit? I love clothes, but something as easy as that, I'm gonna take out, so. This could bang. So, it's basic, it's on a through the loom thing, but it's a Nokia jumper. This is more, I would say, deep poppy kind of thing but look at that that's some nostalgia that in it see we've got little text hands on there and everything i'm loving that it's a fiver because it's a printed on label i'm guessing it's gonna be made after 2000 but i never know but that's sick pretty sure there's no comps for it i don't think it's a very uh, common thing that pattern's hard man i like it i've seen comps on these 2025 i just love that pattern and the color is quite nice as well so it turned out these were half price. So both of them worked out at £5.25. Just nice. I feel it's going to be a good day. We want to hit two shops, we've got a few bits. So I think we're going to drive over to the next place. I don't know where I'm going. I end up here, I just say Birmingham, but it's probably not Birmingham, is it? It's probably somewhere else, I don't know. Okay, we found a few good bits in here. Some uh, Chatfield Ralphies. Just like basic beige chinos, you know, the type that you go to the country club in, you know, nice. Oh, they're quite vintage as well. I like that shape. A bit workwear looking. 750 for these Tommies, vintage. Vintage Tommy don't do much anymore. It's nice, but nah, I'll just leave them. I'll leave them. So these pants I always tend to pick up. These are Chatfield pants. They were, she put them at six pounds. I don't know why she didn't want to charge 25p, but anyway, they were pretty good. I do like them. And they're made in USA, so it's like proper vintage ones. I tend to sell them for like 30 quid, so they do pretty well. Now, I don't know about this stuff, because obviously it's always fakes all the time and stuff, but this is a Kenzo hoodie, and I think it might be pretty good. It was like nine pounds, so I could have done a big fail on that one. I've got this Montclair tee. Now again, it could be completely fake. It might be real, I never know. When I get home, I'll check it properly, but the advice is never list it unless you're 100% confident that it's legit. Here's £10, this is a Gap suede leather. So it's kind of like a sheepskin kind of suede looking thing. Um, I think this is the vintagey label. It tends to be like the other ones with the embroidered labels. I think it's quite nice, I think it does all right. I'm not sure how much you go for, but I just pick up anything most of the time, which is leather, suede, any kind of premium material. So I think that could be pretty good. And then this one here, which is, I found quite interesting. This is a vintage Nike 
FIT. I've never really seen it before, but I'm gonna have to kind of do some digging on that. But I think that might be pretty good. I think it might be 90s maybe, not sure. I'd have to look and if there's any Nike experts, let me know. And we picked up these beautiful white Air Force Ones. Obviously they're a bit yellowy here, so I'll see if I can do something with that. But they're, they're six quid. If I could turn them off like 30 easy, probably I could. Yeah, that's a nice little start round here. So let's just see if the next one can do anything. So I've just seen this. It's like a League of Legends, if you know the game. Like I used to go to uni with a guy who was like an expert. I, this is like not worth anything, but I just had a check anyway. But look at this, a League of Legends Louis Vuitton collab. And that went for approximately £450. So League of Legends is super popular. So if you ever see it, it's worth just having a look underneath the label just in case you think it was a Gildan, turns out to be a Louis. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this could be okay. £4, it's a motor GP polo shirt. Now, obviously I've seen like things like Valentino Rossi ones and like team ones, but look at this one. I think this is like a Dutch track. So I'm going to give it a go. It could possibly be like 15, I could potentially be like 40. So we'll give it a go, see what happens. This is just a plain Nike jumper and it's large. I sold us, I just sold a small one for like 20 quid, but I think this large one, everyone loves a basic jumper, basic Nike jumper. They can sell for like easy 20 quid. This is a Nike jumper as well, got a yellow tick on it. It's the athletic department stuff. So I don't expect much from them two. Um, potentially this one, like I said before, pretty sure that's a Dutch flag, not the French flag. So it could be okay. That's, I'm guessing that's like a, a track over on the MotoGP side. But this is the interesting one. So Represent seems to do really well, but Oblivion by Represent, I'm not sure if people are pricing it too low or just not holding out for a hero, all that kind of stuff. So this could be okay. Um, I think, yeah, it was six, yeah, it was 6 .99. I might try and just sell it for like 35, so like 40 pound and see what happens. But yeah, I think that's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. It's a blacked out champion hoodie and it's a large one. It's not like a, it's not like old or anything, but I just think that would be nice. It's just a nice spell out thing, embroidered and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's got the old champion on sleeve as well. I think that should be pretty good. Not a lot, but I think it would be pretty good. Stuff. That was a rookie mistake, forgot to put the mic on, but this is that Fred Perry bag you might have seen already. It's 15 pound. It's one of these um, PVC kind of PU, whatever you call it kind of materials and I've seen one go for about 60 quid so I'm gonna try and give it a go it might sell for a little bit less than that but I think it might sell quite quick because they're quite popular and it's a nice color as well isn't it so obviously you didn't hear me when I was talking about this one this was an FC UK hoodies tend to go for about 25 30 pounds so obviously if I can get it to zip up it should be all right so there's a couple more shops here we're gonna take a look and see if we can find anything else I've seen this I'm not too sure because I've not seen it before I just like the embroidery on it, but this is Realm and Empire. It's got a faded look to it, so I feel like it's made quite nice and done a quick comp. So, like the brand seems to be quite good. The jumper seems to go for like 30 pounds or something like that. So I'm gonna give it a go, it's double XL. We'll see. We got this, Katie Purry. I don't think I do loads, but it's two pound and I just like picking stuff like this. Whenever it's got like a famous person on it, I just think someone's gonna like it. Possibly a tenner. But you can't say Katy Perry, can you? You've got to say Katy Perry. The grail of the day, mate. Someone is going to be buzzing on their way there with this one. I think we've done pretty well with that, to be honest. So, let me just do this. One is sold for like £100. Potentially, you could sell that for a lot more. So, we'll see. I'd like to pause viewing for public service announcement. No, I'm, I'm actually hosting the first of its kind, a resell summit. So it's an in-person event. It will be on the 25th of March of this year. We will have some of who I think are the best resellers in the country attending to speak, to be part of panels, question and answer sessions. If you're not a reseller and you just like watching resellers and like being part of the community, you're also welcome. We'll be doing food, there'll be teas and coffees throughout the day. Obviously Pete will be there and he's a whole legend. He won't even want me to say that, but he is. Tickets are on sale right now. If you would like to attend, Pete will pop a link here as well. Thanks for listening and back to your viewing. This could be pretty nice. It's four pound. And I think it's an official one. 2018 France shirt. Looks really good. Got this interesting piece and this one. But I've got hands full, so I'm gonna go outside and I'll show you. So yeah, we got some good bits in there. So I'll just go through the things which you didn't see because there's a couple more bits. Obviously you saw the France thing. I'll just stick that in there. Fred Perry, K 
cardigan but it's 100% merino wool this label is like the early 2000s so it's kind of like a y2k vintage not like super vintage these are like the merino wool ones can sell potentially for about 45 50 pounds so i was happy to spend a tenner on that one this is west ham but it's the centenary top now centenary tops tend to do better because obviously it's like the is it centenary no hundreds right what what do you call it 25 centenary i don't know this was the beast i think potentially this is jeffrey west now i didn't actually know about this until um, lola told me about it because she watched chica reseller she told her that she got some of these shoes but they're quite cool i like them pretty sure these exact ones these sold for 130 pound and that was with bidding as well so i think they can do pretty good so i did spend 30 pound on these but i'm pretty sure i can get a decent return on them so okay last spot it's a bit of a posh one so let's see if we can end on a bang even what it has banged already today but this v zone valentino for four pound everything else is like well, for example here you can here for 650. but this could do all right there's not many comps for it though there's like Val v zone valentino jacket that's off like 100 pound and stuff so shirt could potentially do all right but at the very least it could do 20 can't it so i'm kind of tempted to pick these up these are diesel vikers obviously it tells you up here the viker jeans it's that wash number but the brand new tag you can only see comps going for maybe like 50 60 quid i just don't know like i think the bigger sizes tend to do all right and i don't know what that is is that meant to be there i don't know i'm gonna air on the side of caution someone else can have it when it reduces to 10 so Right, I think that does it. I think it's just going to be this in here. A few bits here, but like, for example, like a Fred Perry polo here is like £9. So, you know, like, it's a little bit expensive here. The only thing I saw was this. It's like an NBA All-Star. Uh, not All-Star, what am I about? Dallas. What is it? Dirk Nowitzki? So, yeah, it's a Dirk Nowitzki Dallas Mavericks. That was the name, I forgot. Um, it seems all right. It's brand new tags, ten pound. I think Nowitzki was playing years ago, wasn't he? So, anyway, leave up there. I need a bag. We've got two more shops to go into. So we've got here some. These are Peakman, Cattle and Carter, vintage cords, but they want fifteen for them. So twenty-five is sold, and there's ten available. And there's no cords available either. I think I might take them. I think I'll take them. They could be a quick seller. So let's try them out. Proper old school stuff. I look like a good size as well, to be honest. So nice long leg. They are 15, but like I said, there was an auction that went and they sold for 55, I think it was like 60 pounds, something like that. So I'm tired. Battery's on like 10%. So let's just take a mooch home and do what we always do. Oh my goodness! Lift that up, then it'll be taller than you. Put it on the floor. It's taller than you. Did they sell? Yeah. How are you gonna pack? How are you gonna package that? I have no idea. People like monstrous carrots. They do. <laughs> they friggin' do. <laughs> how big it is! It got a on it. Is it cool? <laughs> like a serpent. Like a serpent. <laughs> right, bed. We'll be finished in a minute. <laughs> How are we? We're good? Yep. If you noticed, we have carpet now. You can't see it, but no. you might have seen it before. But anyway, I don't know why you said that. Right. <laughs> Short <laughs> Fist up. Just some air forces. Small. In fact, how big are they? I didn't even look. They look pretty big. 11. Oh, sorry, 10. Six quid. Actually, pretty good. Yeah. And I think they can go for about 30, 40, something like that. It is yellowy, isn't it? But is it like massively yellowy? No. I don't think so. No, I think I'll no. be fine. That's all right. That's cool. Oh. Nice little messenger bag. Is that old? No, it's not old. It is 15 though. I was trying to check the label inside. Oh. <laughs> now you can see the label. Now, now you can have a real nice up close view <laughs> of what the label on the inside is, looks like. So, yeah, don't do what I did. Don't You're pull so it heavy handed. I'm not. I'm, just, oh. I'm gentle. I'm a gentle guy. Okay. <laughs> okay, next one is these cords pretty vintage cords Pakeman Cato and Carter yep quite an old English brand they're high waisted aren't they I think so I don't know they're 15 pound again expensive but there's none available there's no cords available the ones which did sell sold for like 50 60 quid they're nice aren't they yeah and the proper cord yeah no I know like Do you know what I mean they're stiff as well yeah. aren't they like 
Him on. E. Realm and Empire. Looks like Kenzo. It does look a bit Kenzo, doesn't it? Yeah. What attracted me to it was, what's that kind of, it's kind of washed, isn't it? It's yeah. a nice colour. Like a washed out, burnt orange. The label looks a bit, um, what's the word? A bit high streety. Nothing to kind of write home about. But it's just that issue number got me on gas, so I thought I'd have a look at it anyway. So anyway, £30. I'm not thinking it's going to be like a grayly piece, but it should be okay. This is £2. I just thought I'd pick up anyway. Katie Purry. Is that I just an album or something? Uh, I don't know. But Maybe it's £2. Pound. Long, I don't know. Long CTs, man. I just premium. Yeah. Man. I like it. I don't know. Carolina Herrera. But it's a pocket tee. What you about a pocket life? <laughs> yes, I was just going to say. You like pockets, don't you? Love a pocket. Where you need to like... <laughs> put, put stuff your, in it. Put your buzz ticket. Your buzz ticket in there. You know what I mean? Buzz. Like, buzz ticket. Yeah. £3 now. Yeah. I just think that'll get gone. I think it's all right, isn't it? Yeah. I miss going out with you, you know. Why are you not coming out then? You got grounded? Yeah. Dad grounded me. I lost my pen at school and my friend borrowed my pen. And that's why... My pencils. You should have put it in the pocket. Yeah. Rookie mistake. But it's okay. You can learn your lessons, yeah. Moncler T. Don't oh. know if it's fake. Have a look. I don't know. I, I don't even know, you know. I don't, I don't even know. I feel like it could be all right. It's, do you know what I mean by that bottom label? Yeah. It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit different, isn't it? It's one of these kind of labels. Oh, can't even see it. One of these kind of labels. A bit, bit different. I'm not sure. I, I, I picked up. It was a bit, it was like... Oh, did you pick it up? What? Did you pick it up? I just picked up. You picked up? Yeah, I picked up. I didn't know you picked crazy, up. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Shut up. It's the same with this one. Kenzo hoodie. Kenzo. See, that's like the one that we've just spoke about. Yeah, but the, Ken, the, tiger, on, the tiger on the back looks all right, I think. I don't know. So I was just thinking, well, one out of two or no. two out of two could be all right. None out of two. I'm not going to really cry about it too much. Depop senses were tiggly with this one. The Lico Sportive. See, I wouldn't even ever no? think that, that that is the one okay, to pick yeah. up anymore. Big cock on the front. With a triangle. It's deep, mate. I always thought it was like an Admiral. It's like more like Re It's not, yeah, it's more like Admiral than Reebok. Like Deodora. See, some, Deodora's hard now. Is it? I'm pretty sure Deodora's pretty hard. What's going on? I just saw the mitre tea. Do you know what I mean? Come here for this one. Okay. It's on a fruit of the loom. Yeah? Oh. Nokia Flex, man. On that Nokia Tink. That where it's in, when you turn the phone on. It yeah. comes like that, doesn't it? Exactly. Do, do they go together like that when you... Yeah, connecting people. That was their phrase, wasn't it? Oh. What was your Nokia? Which one do you have? Mate, what did I not have? What did I not have? Go on then. I had a 3310. Right. I had a 3210. Mm. I had an 8210. Oof. I had the one in, that goes in water, pull out both sides. Yeah. Hang on, what, what is a 3330 now? 30, so you had 3310 and 3330 looked exactly the same. 3330 could go on the internet though. Had WAP. Oh. Had that WAP. Had that WAP. <laughs> had that WAP. <laughs> Remember that Square Nokia? The Square Nokia had the buttons down the sides. That had Bluetooth. You could put about four songs on that. Yeah. Bad man. Everyone had a 33 or at least 82. Or 8210. You know what the fun fact about them ones? Go on. Stick them up your bum. Prison phone. Can I just ask you a question? Go on. What is fun about that fact? <laughs> You could say, do you want to know a fact? Not a fun fact. Because what was fun about showing 8210 with your Have you seen 8210 in the shop, yeah? Get Don't touch it. Do not touch it. Wear gloves. Get hand sanitizer. That's what I'm going to say. Put gloves on. That's it. So these, I know you're going to say it so you see it. Jeffrey West. Oh, okay. We were just talking about these, weren't we? Yep. Chica reseller. Yep. Who a bit at the summit. She's a bit of a boss. She was talking about these on her story, on her Instagram. This is crazy, isn't it? It's weird. You talk about I've like never bosses. seen them. Never seen them? Never heard from them about them before. No. Nope. And Chica did a really good explanation on her stories. And they appeared. This okay. is the grayly piece of the day. Okay. You're going to look at it and you're going to be underwhelmed. Seriously underwhelmed. Okay, so why are you building it up then? Because, I'll tell you why. It is a Fred Perry jacket. Harrington. Harrington jacket. Can't use a Harrington though. Can't use Harrington, but you can at the same time. Did someone wear it? No. Unzip it. Let me reveal. See what else it says. Ventile, weatherproof, 100% cotton. Ventile or ventile, ventile. It's a ventile jacket. So, I was doing my research. There's none available. 
So is it a collaboration or is it like... It's not a collaboration. Ventil is just how it's made. If okay. you look, it's got that kind of skinhead look. Check on the inside. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, these retail at about £300. But it's a waterproof jacket. It's these kind of vines that you buzz off though, isn't it? This is it. Because this is... If you look at it, you think, that's not grail. That's just basic. So did you know what that was? No. You I did, just knew. You've not heard of Ventil before? I know what Ventil is because other how brands do you know use this it. stuff? Because, for example, like Golf... Um, golf stuff does it a lot. They do like waterproof because you have to look smart, but you have to be waterproof at the same time. It could potentially sell for like hundred fifty pound, potentially two hundred pounds. So how like. much? How much was it? Well, yes, it was eight pound, seven ninety nine. But made in England as well, so it's a quite a rare one. Anyway, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit like button, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Comment. Comment. Nice things. See you in a bit. See you later. I was going to say something proper hanging then, but I'm not saying it now. Or off the tongue, I just had to say something. No. No. <laughs>